so um i i remember you had that prop do you still have that prop where you like kind of you know actually explained it uh oh yes yeah, sure sure so this is um ah. <laughs> yeah so this is a volvo puppet it's known as a volvo puppet and you can see it's a it's a lovely depiction of the female anatomy you have the labia majora which is like some people call it the vaginal lips or the labia lips or the vulva lips here and then these are the inner lips now obviously every woman's um, anatomy is different but this is just an, an, an example and this here i'm hoping you can see it this is known as the clitoral hood or the prepuce it's the okay. it's like the equip it's like the equivalent of the male um, foreskin and then you've got the clitoral glands here this round wonderful nut. um now the clitoral glands and i'm specifically calling it the clitoral glands rather than the clitoris because the clitoris itself most of the clitoris sits within inside the woman's body so if i were to show you this is really what a clitoris looks like it's in terms of the size it's about 10 centimeters or 10 inches depending on the woman um and it's, it's and it and it does actually erect but most of this clitoris like the legs and the bowls which you see here mm -hmm. they sit inside a woman's body and they sit behind the labia minora which is the labia lips so when a man is going to for example perform kunyaza for example i'll use this massage bomb so this imagine this is a man's penis he'll be performing the kunyaza in a whether he wants to do a tapping technique vertically going up and down along the clitoral glands and also along the labia minor ellipse, not penetrating. So this is the technique, which is a non-penetrative technique. You can perform penetration later, but the whole point is to tease and gently arouse both the clitoral glands and the labia minor, which is also indirectly stimulating the inner clitoris. So whether you want to do it in a up and down, like a vertical tapping function, left, to write vertically, you can play with it, do circular mo motions, you can even write your name. Again, it's the whole point is to create and establish intimacy between the partners. And it's also effective for the man because it's teaching him not to think so much about penetration. And we know that most women, the most effective way to experience an orgasm is via clitoral stimulation. So this is why the Kunyaza technique is so effective because number one, it concentrates on the clitoral stimulation and also allows the man to understand what turns the woman on. When during penetration, generally speaking, a lot of times the man, because of the position, he's not able to monitor and see how his female partner is responding. Whereas with kunyaza, and there's different positions where you can practice kunyaza, but generally he's focused and eye gazing at his female partner and he's also monitoring her bodily movements because most mm -hmm. people communicate non-verbally as opposed to verbally. And especially if his partner is shy or she doesn't necessarily want to actually vocalize what she's really enjoying and what she's not necessarily enjoying so much, he can monitor by seeing how her body responds. So that's why it's a very beautiful technique, like I said, not only to elicit orgasms, but also to create and foster intimacy between the partners. Lovely. <laughs> that's wonderful. I mean, this is my second time at the class and it, it's still like, it's like, okay, there, there, there is so much... Uh, you know, uh, a lot of times we just take it so intensely, like we feel like we, there is some chase line that where we have to reach. I think it just makes you stay in the moment and it really forces you to not get, because I think even the bodies, they are not like, there is so, not so much of a movement. How is it like, you know, it's more like a, a practice where you have to be uh, a little still unlike the, you know, that that in and out, in and out, like, you know, that, that where it, it's, you just completely kind of don't stay with the moment. I think this is more like staying in the moment also. Yes, most definitely. And it's a different sexual script to penetrative intercourse. Don't get me wrong. Sexual penetration is wonderful. And uh, it's something that both men and women can experience in orgasm via penetration. But this is another sexual script or another sexual play that both the partners can enjoy together. And also it teaches them to be mm -hmm. patient and understand what arouses both partner rather than kind of thinking about penetration which generally that session ends when the man reaches climax whereas with kunyaza it's not obligatory for the woman to experience an orgasm or squirting that's not the goal um the goal is female pleasure the goal is to ensure that she's um enjoys the experience but if she wants to experience an orgasm and ejaculation and squirting she can but that's the most important thing rather than it's putting women first so women come first with the kunyaza other practice and that's why for me it's um it's wonderful because generally when we speak about sexual practices it's always focusing on men's satisfaction first and then female satisfaction and um, secondary so this is 
like the opposite where again like I said women's um pleasure is is prioritized 